What's the crack, lads? Hope you guys are doing well. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on V2.2. I should be streaming today, so let me know if you guys are going to check that out as well. We've got some new gameplay for you. I'm going to let this play out again. This was a bit of a more end-to-end -end match. I think more of kind of like an online type match with a lot of intricate passing and, you know, obviously uh, some really, really good players on show here, such as Mbappe and Benzema and then Saka and Sterling as well as Harry Kane and a couple of other players like Harry Maguire who's just there because he collected the stickers on a milk carton just to get there to the event but anyway we're gonna let this match play out and I will see you guys in another video it's about 10 minute video let me know what you think of this raw gameplay and I'll talk to you in a bit peace you only want to work as hard as demanded you don't want to have to go at it full pelt but when the opposition is what it is all of that kind of goes out the window. The challenge here will ask more of you, and so both teams will, will wish to, to give more than they take. It's one of those games, Peter, where if the opposition increase their effort, you have to follow it. We have already started here. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Rafael Varane. He's solid in the air, Peter. He's tough in the tackle and a very good reader of the game. Most of all, though, if something goes wrong when the opposition break through, he's got the pace to get back and, and make a vital intervention. Yeah, he'll certainly be leaving his mark on this game, quite possibly, actually, at both ends. Rabio. Oh, now, this is interesting, and the referee has pointed to the spot. England present their opponents with the best possible chance here. A uh, look of amusement and dismay from the culprit, but the referee clearly thinks there was enough there for a penalty. Well, the keeper probably felt he could read that, but he's guessed completely wrongly. He's gone to the other side. And here's Kane. Spread out to the left. Lovely feet. Well, I'm not quite sure he needed to hold up play quite as much as he did then. A couple of his teammates were very annoyed. Played with finesse. Yeah, this kind of bold running will always get you into areas of possibility. No, the ball needed to be better there, so a wasted chance. And it's Benzema. Unkunku looking to get on the end of this. He is through here! Sterling. Alexander-Arnold. Alexander-Arnold carries the ball down the right, looking for the runner. He's got away. Shots on here. Real chance! Oh, nearly, but nearly is nothing. Yeah, he may have snatched at that a bit, even though it was quite close. Belling. Now it's Kane, out to the right. He's shifting through the gears here. And there's the end of the first half. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. I'm going to inform you now that the latest travel information is currently being displayed on the screen. Everyone, please welcome our players to the field. And the second half gets underway. England don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in the second half. They can't hold back though. Now it's Saka. Always play. Big chance! Goal! England are back in business! Well, we've seen the hunger to win it back and the focus to make it count. A very tasty combination. And that has left him in a heap. Rabiot really struggling to influence the game. 
Uh, he needs a minder, and one of his teammates should be picking up on that, and quickly. It's a great ball. Now it's wrong. It's won! And again! And somehow he has kept that out. Mbappe gets it away. Shaw. Shaw delivers. Kimpembe is there and he can get that clear. Shaw delivers. Maurice has that under control. Saka. Bellingham. The attendance for this match was He's found a way through. Oh no, no circumventing this opponent. Rice, laid out to the left flank, Rice, can he latch on to this? Nkunku, Pavar, that is Conte. That's a nicely weighted pass. And that is as far as they're going to go. Gets to show off his quick feet. Shaw is charging up on the overlap. That's well blocked and back out it comes. Bellingham. Played out towards the right wing. Chance to break. Pavar. You can never be short of runners into space as long as the space left behind is filled. Oh, looking to run onto it. Ah, oh, it's a lovely bit of skill there. Oh, well played, well played. So, what can they make of this? It looked as though that might lead to something. Oh, it's taken out. That'll be a foul. Just a talking to, I think. Yes, it is. Well, with him already been on a yellow, he should know much better than that. And here's Kane. Shot a goal! Goal, England! And the comeback is complete! Jim, your thoughts? Peter, that was just a, a defensive act of generosity that was always going to uh, have a painful ending. The goal score for England after 77 minutes. Look at the space here, chance! And the keeper passes the test. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. There will be three minutes. And that's been leave it clear. And he's lost his man here. Now it's Sterling. And he's on his way. Can he put it away? All the balls and the follow-up. 
And there goes the final whistle. England have done it in dramatic fashion. A massive test of character, and they passed it with flying colours. A truly outstanding comeback by any measure. Sterling, voted man of the match, and deservedly so. So there it is. What struck you most about that? England made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always tough, you know. It's, it's not always about form, it's not always about class or style. It's about pride, and they showed loads of that. Their attitude was spot on today. And a quick and Many thanks to Jim, and with that, it is a very good night to you. Please look at the screen for information on how to find your way around this stadium.